She's a pretty brown thing Got them curls that came And everybody knows When they see me It's take glow She's got beauty and brain A glow that shines through rain She's take glow Before I start on my hair I just go in and moisturize my hair I start off with a leave-in conditioner and then I go in with a regular moisturizer and then I go in with the oil just to make sure my hair is moist and then now what you see me doing is I'm just combing that through my hair and I believe this is just the leave-in conditioner that I'm uh, coming through and then I just repeat the process with each, each thing that I add into my hair After I got all of that combed into my hair, I just go in with my wide tooth comb to create my part. Um, I could have used a smaller comb to create a more precise part, but I don't really care that much. And then I just use a lot of gel and put that all over my edges. And y'all, when I say I use a lot of gel, I use a lot of gel. So basically my method is putting a lot of gel and then brushing and keep brushing and smoothing. And as I smooth, I add more gel just to make sure that my hair is as laid as possible. After I did all of that, smooth my ponytail, I just go in and put three little braids into my hair so that um, my hair can be stretched and so that it can kind of be separated. But as y'all can see in the next clip, my hair ended up not drying overnight and my hair was still wet so it didn't stretch that good. But here I'm just squeezing out all that moisture with the towel so it won't be as wet in the morning which did not work <laughs> and then i just used rubber bands to stretch that out which did not work but y'all it would have worked if i would have let it dry a little bit longer but i just did not have time so right now i'm just taking off my edge wrap and then i use the rubber band method thing to wrap my hair so that i can have a secure middle part i don't know how to if that makes sense around the crochet hair so that i can tie that around my ponytail for when i braid it secured to my actual ponytail i don't know if that makes sense but as you can see just watch what i did replay it if you need to and then i just take these out of my hair because i can't do nothing with it in my hair and i braided my hair with those braids still in so that it could be easier since my hair did not um fully dry it would have been completely too curly to dry so that right there what you're seeing is me putting that rubber band around my hair this is where it kind of got difficult and y'all before i even explain i purposely left space at the top so that i can wrap some crochet hair around the top to just create a I don't know, like a sleek ponytail type of look, how people do their sleek ponytails. So I purposely did leave that space, but this is where it's hard, y'all. I had to separate uh, my three twists or three uh, braids into three pieces with the hair, and the hair is crochet hair, so it's kind of very nappy and curly. But I did loosely do that at the top, how you see the rubber band, because I'm going to go in and cover that with hair.
So then I just go in and cut the little nappy pieces off so the end of the ponytail can have like neat, cute curls rather than just fluffy curls. And I just do the crochet or I mean goddess look by literally sticking my fingers through the hair and sticking my fingers through the braid and putting the hair through. I don't know if that makes sense, but you could see what I did. And then I just double knot it so that it can stay. This is where I take the uh, crochet hair and wrap it around my hair. I do this a couple of times just so that it is full and thick. And y'all, this actually blended very well. And um, I use the hairspray to secure it down and then bobby pins to tie it up a little bit. Okay, y'all, this may be confusing, but to um, secure that last section, I actually do it with the rubber band so that I can leave some curly tips so that it can be a goddess look up there as well. And it also secures it very well. To finish the hairstyle off, I just do my edges, and I do them very basic. <laughs> I'm not really, well, I really don't even know how to do my edges, like, all extra and cute. So I just do basic edges.